Have you ever pondered about the mysteries that history has left behind? Mysteries that, despite our best efforts, remain unsolved? The annals of time are filled with such enigmas, casting long shadows over our understanding of the past. They stir the imagination, tantalize with their elusive nature and keep us coming back for more in our relentless pursuit of the truth. These historical riddles are not mere footnotes in textbooks. They are the pages stuck together, the chapters missing, the ink faded. They are the whispers in the corridors of time, the echoes of a story untold. They are the tales of lost cities, unfathomable codes and vanished treasures. They are the questions we ask, the answers we seek, and the journey in between. In every corner of the world, from the deepest caves to the highest peaks, from the oldest civilizations to the youngest nations, these mysteries abound. They dwell in the lines of undeciphered scripts, in the ruins of forgotten cultures, in the silence of deserted landscapes. They are the remnants of a past that refuses to be fully known, a past that still holds its secrets close, away from the prying eyes of the present. And yet, we try. Historians, archaeologists, linguists, and enthusiasts alike, we all strive to unravel these enigmas. We dig, we decipher, we deduce, we sift through the sands of time, piece together the shards of the past, and shine a light into the shadows of history. Every discovery, every breakthrough, every solved riddle brings us one step closer to understanding our shared heritage, our collective memory. Today, we will explore five such mysteries. Five riddles that have stood the test of time. Five stories that continue to intrigue, to challenge, to captivate. From a manuscript that no one can read, to a city that no one can find, to a code that no one can crack, to a room that no one can locate, to tablets that no one can interpret. These are the enigmas that tease us with their complexity, that dare us to solve them, that promise the thrill of the chase and the joy of discovery. Join us as we step into the past and unravel the webs of these historical enigmas. Our first mystery takes us to the world of ancient scripts and cryptic illustrations, the Voynich Manuscript. In the early 20th century, a Polish book dealer named Wilfred Voynich stumbled upon a peculiar manuscript. This wasn't just any old book, it was a baffling codex filled with an unknown language and strange, fantastical illustrations. The Voynich Manuscript, named after its modern discoverer, is an enigma that continues to puzzle scholars and cryptographers alike. The manuscript's text is written in an unidentified script, flowing elegantly from left to right. The language, if it is a language at all, is like no other known to exist. It's filled with repeating sequences and patterns that suggest a meaningful text, but no one has been able to crack the code. Despite countless attempts, the manuscript's language remains as elusive as the day it was discovered. Adding to the mystery are the manuscript's illustrations. The pages are adorned with bizarre images of unknown plants, astronomical diagrams, and what seem to be alchemical symbols. There are also numerous drawings of small, naked women bathing in an intricate system of tubs and pipes. These illustrations are as inscrutable as the text itself, offering few clues to the manuscript's purpose or origin. The manuscript's age adds another layer of intrigue. Radiocarbon dating suggests it was created in the early 15th century, making it over 600 years old. But where it was created, by whom, and why, these are questions that remain unanswered. Over the years, many theories have been proposed about the manuscript. Some suggest it's a pharmacopoeia, a medieval book of medicines. Others believe it could be a work of alchemy, or even a secret religious text. There are even those who propose it's nothing more than an elaborate hoax. But without a key to decipher the text, these theories remain just that, theories. Though many have tried, the Voynich manuscript continues to guard its secrets tightly. So tightly in fact that it's often dubbed the world's most mysterious book. Perhaps one day, we'll unlock its secrets. Until then, the Voynich manuscript remains a tantalizing riddle. A testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. From cryptic manuscripts, we journey to the lost city of Atlantis. An enigma as old as time itself, the legend of Atlantis has persisted throughout history, tantalizing historians and sparking countless theories about its possible location. The Greek philosopher Plato first described Atlantis around 2,400 years ago. He depicted it as an advanced civilization, a utopia that was lost to the sea in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods. According to Plato, this city lay beyond the pillars of Hercules, a phrase that has led some to hypothesize that Atlantis was located in the Atlantic Ocean. Other theories suggest that Atlantis was in the Mediterranean, 
based on descriptions of the city's architecture and culture, which align more closely with ancient Mediterranean civilizations. Still others propose that Atlantis was not a literal place but a myth, an allegory created by Plato to explore philosophical ideas. Despite these differing theories what captivates historians is the possibility that Atlantis was a real advanced civilization that existed somewhere on Earth. Its sudden disappearance as described by Plato could offer insights into ancient natural disasters and their impact on human societies. Unraveling the mystery of Atlantis could help us understand our own history and the cyclical nature of civilizations, their rise, their fall, and their potential for rediscovery. The city of Atlantis lost to time remains one of history's most tantalizing mysteries. We now delve into the world of crime with the unsolved cryptograms of the Zodiac Killer. In the late 60s and early 70s, a sinister figure emerged from the shadows of Northern California. Calling himself the Zodiac, this enigmatic murderer left a trail of fear and uncertainty, not only with his heinous acts but also with the cryptic messages he sent to the press. These cryptograms, filled with strange symbols and coded language, were as chilling as they were complex. Of the four ciphers sent only one has been definitively solved revealing a disturbing message from the killer himself. But the remaining three have stumped even the most skilled cryptographers and codebreakers for over half a century. The unsolved codes have not only fueled the mystery surrounding the Zodiac Killer, but they've also impacted the field of criminal investigations. They have sparked advancements in forensic codebreaking and have highlighted the importance of cryptography in solving crimes. These cryptograms have become a significant part of the Zodiac Killer's legacy, adding an extra layer of intrigue to an already chilling case. Despite countless attempts to crack these codes, they remain as enigmatic as the identity of the killer himself. Even today they draw the attention of professional and amateur sleuths alike, all hoping to be the one to finally unlock these cryptic messages. The Zodiac Killer's unsolved codes continue to baffle and intrigue investigators and cryptographers. Our next mystery delves into the world of priceless treasures with the disappearance of the Amber Room. This gem of a room, once considered the eighth wonder of the world, was a masterpiece of Baroque art, resplendent with six tons of amber backed with gold leaf. Constructed in the early 18th century in Prussia, the Amber Room was gifted to Peter the Great of Russia in 1716, becoming a symbol of peace between the two nations. However, the peace didn't last forever, and neither did the Amber Room's tranquility. As World War II swept across Europe, the room fell into the hands of the invading German army. Despite attempts to hide its grandeur behind mundane wallpaper, the Amber Room was dismantled and transported to Königsberg, Germany. When the war ended, the victorious Allied forces turned their attention to reclaiming stolen treasures. Yet, the Amber Room was nowhere to be found. Königsberg had suffered heavy bombing, and it was thought that the room was lost to the flames. But no definitive proof of its destruction has ever been found, sparking theories that the Amber Room had been moved once more or hidden away. Even today, the search continues for this lost treasure. From the depths of the Baltic Sea to secret bunkers in Germany, the hunt for the Amber Room spans continents and generations. The Amber Room, lost in the annals of history, continues to elude treasure hunters and historians. We end our journey with the mysterious Rongorongo tablets of Easter Island. Imagine a remote island in the Pacific, home to the Rapa Nui civilization. These people, isolated from the rest of the world, developed a unique form of writing known as Rongorongo, etched into wooden tablets. These tablets are a marvel, not just for their age, but for the mystique that shrouds them. They are one of the few instances of independent script development in human history. Yet, despite their significance, the Rongorongo script remains undeciphered, a cipher locked away in the language of a civilization long past. The tablets bear intricate carvings, a series of glyphs arranged in a unique way. Unlike other scripts, Rongorongo is written in a system known as Reverse Bustrophedon, where lines are read alternately left to right then right to left. This peculiar style further adds to the enigma of the Rongorongo tablets. The tablets hold the key to understanding the Rapa Nui civilization's history, culture and perhaps even the reason behind their decline. However, without the ability to decipher the script, the tablets are like a book with its pages sealed shut. Over the years, numerous attempts have been made to crack the Rongorongo code but all have ended in vain. For now the tablets remain a tantalizing mystery, their secrets kept hidden from the world. The Rongorongo tablets, a cryptic window into a lost civilization, remain a fascinating puzzle. 
As we return from our journey through history's mysteries one thing becomes clear. The unknown has a certain allure that captivates us, beckoning us to delve deeper into the shadows of the past. These unsolved riddles, from the cryptic Voynich manuscript to the enigmatic location of Atlantis, the Zodiac Killer's unsettling code, the vanished Amber Room, and the indecipherable Rongorongo tablets, have all left indelible marks on our historical landscape. Their intrigue endures not because we seek answers but because the questions they pose are so compelling. They challenge our understanding of history, pushing us to question, to explore, and to seek out hidden truths. These mysteries act like a mirror, reflecting our very human desire to know and understand the world around us. They remind us that history is not just a collection of facts and dates, but a tapestry of stories, riddles, and enigmas waiting to be deciphered. The mysteries of history enthralling and elusive continue to ignite our curiosity and our quest for knowledge. We invite you to join the discussion. Do you have theories about these unsolved riddles that have perplexed historians for centuries? Don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're captivated by these historical enigmas, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have a treasure trove of intriguing content just waiting for you, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Remember, history is full of mysteries waiting to be solved. Until next time, keep exploring.